after the unexpected release of the Oxygen OS 3.0 Marshmallow build for the OnePlus 2, Cyanogen and OnePlus cooperated once again and rolled out the final build for Cyanogen OS 13 or the CM13S build based off of Android 6.0 Marshmallow for the OnePlus One. The OTA rollouts have been started and many users including me have installed them on our beloved devices. So after all the wait we've been through, is the all new Cyanogen OS 13 worth it? To find out, this is Adnan from TechnoDNA and this is a quick look on what's good and ugly about the latest Cyanogen OS build for the OnePlus One. If you've been a CM13 snapshot or nightly user in the past, then nothing much has been changed apart from the new and improved theme engine and a little more customizability options. Just a quick disclaimer, it is one of the first builds in the Cyanogen OS 13 series and many many bugs are yet to come. If you think that you can cope up with the bugs, you are welcome to hop into the marshmallowy feel of the OnePlus One. Without any further delay, let's take a quick look on the new and exciting features. There have been quite a few reforms in the settings app itself. With the last updates of Cyanogen OS 12, users have experienced difficulties trying to tweak some options and they were accessible only after checking the advanced options box from developer options. Cyanogen OS 13 no longer does this and we have all the options laid out by default. Moreover, there is no specific tab for those. To optimize battery performance, you need to navigate to settings, battery and then battery optimization. Due to security reasons, the quick unlock for pins has been disabled and that was a feature that we users always love. You can also enable the demo mode which practically does nothing else now by tapping the build date three times in a row. The quick settings has also been modified a little bit. You now have access to a permanent edit tile from the notification bar and you can tap it to add more icons, subtract them and even change stuff like weather and time settings. It is good to note that the new quick settings uses pagination for a better view. A new addition to Cyanogen OS 13 are the new live lock screen wallpapers using the theme engine. There are only two preloaded and while these might cause you some battery life, they are a sweet little addition. With the new update however, there is obviously a bad side too. Little annoying features like the placement of the clear all button in the recents being all the way down really get on the nerves of us users. As this is Android Marshmallow, you no longer can use the traditional horizontal style app drawer. Come on Cyanogen, you could have kept that option. Also, there is no native support for multitasking and you require root for that. All in all, the Cyanogen OS 13 build was a much awaited one and now that it's here, we users are more than happy and joyful. Battery life is kind of unstable but hopefully the OTS will be able to solve many of the bugs if encountered. Well guys, that's been it for a quick overview on the good and bad side of Cyanogen OS 13 for the OnePlus One. If I was unable to cover up all the features, I'm extremely sorry but you can ask me as many as questions down in the comments below. This is Adnan Ahmed signing out, hope you all have a marshmallowy experience.